Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Anthony from CompSci Studio and welcome back to your eighth Java programming tutorial. So today we're going to be learning about the else statement. In our sixth and seventh programming tutorials, we learned about first off the if statement, then the else if statement, and they kind of work together. This is the same with the else statement. It just goes at the end of your uh, if statements. So basically, let's just make an integer variable, call it number, and set it equal to 12. Let's make a basic if statement next. So just use the keyword if and then in brackets put number is exactly equal to 23 and close them and let's just put a s out here um, the number is equal to 23 that's not 23 there we go then the next thing you're going to want to do is make your else if statement um, number is exactly equal to 30 and then in between your curly braces do another s out statement um, the number is equal to 30 and I'm a boss all right and uh, the else statement this is the newest the, the statement that I was going to be talking about in this tutorial so this statement basically is executed if all the the uh, statements before it do not execute. So it goes through this. Is the number equal to 23? No, it's not. Is the number equal to 30? No, it's not. And then it goes to this else statement and automatically executes whatever is in here. So system out. I am executed because I am tough. There we go. So, yeah, let's just run this thing. Make sure I'm not lying to you guys. There you go. I am executed because I am tough. Uh, so, yeah, that's about it. So, if you guys have any questions, be sure to just go ahead and ask me. I'm always willing to answer any questions you guys have. And uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll get to you guys in the next video.